Welcome to UNTV One, Urbane News. Today we're here to talk about the violence in Chicago, where we went to 78th Street and Troop, where Father Flager and the groups here in Chicago decided to get together and occupy the streets. Uh, once again, we're going to tune in live. Resources, proliferation of guns, broken homes and neighborhoods, and the criminalization of so many of our youth. But while we fight these evils, and we must, we must also take responsibility and authority over our homes, over our blocks, and over our communities. ...of their young children and their daughters and sons dying on a consistent basis. Just last week, there were 28 shootings, 14 wounded. Something needs to happen. They're thinking about right now bringing in military presence. They're also speaking on locking up 18,000 gang members. There has to be a better way. The question is, how do you even find out who is the gang member? We cannot wait for law enforcement or for government. We must run our homes. We must run our blocks. We must run our neighborhoods. We must occupy the streets. Somebody shout occupy. The streets. Say occupy. The streets. This summer, this summer the community is coming together to help stop the violence that's going on in the communities. We calling everyone whether you're on the south side, whether you're on the west side, north side, east side, we're calling everyone, all your help. It's time to pitch in. It's time to stop the violence in the communities. So, as we turn to speak to some of the youth members that was here, they are on a stage outside here in Chicago where they're gathering Every Friday, just to tell, you know, speak your name, tell you what you feel, why you're here, uh, why you're in the community, and hopefully uh, what it is occupy the streets going to do for the, uh, the youth out here and stop the killing and things like that. You can just speak on that for the reason you're taking uh, the time out to be in the community walk and stuff like that. You good? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, my name is Dewan. Uh, I'm, I'm occupying the streets. I'm trying to help all the... Uh, Help all the gang members turn their life around, get themselves together, you know what I'm saying, and just become one. Yes, sir. As a whole, you know what I'm saying? So. I, uh, the Peace League positively affected my life in ways that we turn my life around, such as gang banging, gang banging on the streets or wherever I'm at. It helped me get along with rivals, accepting them for who they is, which is men. As far as beefing with each other, we now work together as a team. The Peace League also draws me closer to God in ways of praying for my enemies and making them my friends. The Peace League helped me bond with the people who I never thought I would, I never thought I would talk to. The Peace League has also impacted my life. It helped me get a job, keeping, my, keeping me off the streets, learn good, learn good communication skills, learn how to make resumes and prepare for uh, employers. None of, now the employees and the Peace League made me a better man. Through the talks, the mentoring, the life skill classes, and most of all, the man above touched my heart in ways I made a bond with him. And now I pray every day faithfully. Last but not least, it made me who I am today, a successful, hardworking guy who is willing to do anything to make things right. Good evening, and welcome to UNTV One, Urbane News. Today, we're here to talk about a peace rally that is labeled Occupy the Streets, hosted by St. Sabbatic Church here in Chicago. We were on the scene today, Urbane News and News Crew, and we decided to march, and we was walking right along the path with them, asking questions to different community 
uh, audience and different people that was in the audience. So we're going to go live again. And we're going to bring you live where the youth were singing in the choir. We had uh, the Nation of Islam was there. You had... Uh, in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Misericordioso. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. I want to greet us, brothers and sisters, in the greeting words of peace, which we say in Arabic, Aysam Alaikum, which simply means in English, peace be unto you, or in Espanol, decimos, la paz sea con usted. Y quiero empezar en Espanol, porque veo que hay gente aquí del mundo hablo hispana, si puedes levantar la mano, si hablas de español, si eres de Latinoamérica, de México, de Puerto Rico, de Centroamérica, estamos aquí en casa. And I just wanted to let everyone else know what it feels like sometimes when you go someplace and people make you feel odd for speaking a, your own language, a language that we grow up that our grandmothers and grandfathers speak. So I'm here on behalf of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and his National Assistant Student Minister Ishmael Mohammed, but I'm also here as a member of this community. And I've been living right over on 64th Street, right off of Ashton for 12 years now. And I grew up in the back of the yards and in Inglewood, so I'm not here as a guest or visitor, I'm here as a stakeholder and a citizen and a member of this community. I'm here as a... Como Mexicano, I'm here as a Mexican, I'm here as a Muslim, I'm here because I grew up in a Catholic church and got baptized and had my catechism in the church. I'm here as a Catholic, as a Jew even, because I try to follow the way of Moses and the, pro the Israel Israelite prophets. So we're all here in family today. So no matter what you may call yourself, when you say, I don't want anything to do with religion, that's okay, because we have something for you too. <laughs> You know, before I begin my poetry piece, I just want to say when I look into the crowd and see people of all races, I've come to the conclusion that it takes a man with real love and real courage to call all of us out here today in efforts to stop the violence in our community. I want to thank my mother who's in the crowd also because my mother, Chandra Akeem, because I, I recognize yeah. give her a round of applause in the dark. In the dark, you wonder if you'll ever see the light. You need a pat on your back. Somebody tell me it's going to be all right. But I'll be good. I tell them I'll be fine. As long as I keep my head on. I tell them I'll be good. I tell them I'll be fine. I tell them I'll be fine. I'm focused on survival. This life is suicidal. So many deaths, so many lives, so many dead on arrivals. And ain't nobody snitching too many wearing their bridles and we fight versus each other like we're in it for a title. A 17 year old pregnant girl was shot but the baby survived. But who were you to determine the very end of her life? But look, love no longer exists. That's not a thought in our minds. It's only money, guns, and sex. That's what we hear all the time. That's what they play on the radio in our ear all the time and we sit back like it doesn't have an effect on our minds. Say, you can love me or hate me, leave me or take me, but I'm standing on the truth, not hesitant nor shaky. I know Satan gotta hate me and his dogs gotta hate me because I'm running from his beast like I'm afraid to get rabies. <laughs> they say no nation can rise higher than this woman. Damn, look at America, she's short because of something. All right. We degrade her in videos, degrade her in TV shows, give them all types of babies, then leave them to raise them on their own. And he asks, where the man at? And we like, why they keep saying that? Because we ain't made a change and won't get up from where we laying at. And now they just sit back and feel like they gotta accept it. Like, now they just sit back and feel like they gotta accept it. But see, a change won't come about if you continue to accept it. You're a diamond, don't you understand that you should be protected? A change won't come about until you say that I neglect it. A change won't come about until you say I don't respect it. But in the dark, you wonder if you'll ever see the light. You need a pat on your back. Hey, flavor. Somebody tell me it's gonna be all right. Mothers who named 
out each child that was murdered. I think it was four mothers that came up and presented themselves and named out 140, at least 146 children that was Juan murdered. Jackson, Francisco Moreno, Derek Davis, Jonathan Williams, Raikeem Duman, Noel O'Shea, Madel McCambry, Jeremiah Jeffrey Stewart, Keaton Scott, Hakeem Walton, Joshua Davis, Naira Beller, Devontae Watts, Junior Astelio, Octavius Lamb, Devontae Grissom, Ezekiel Velasquez, Ulysses Gissendanner, Christopher Latin Jr., Marcus Turner, Michael San Diego, Reyes Durendez, Victor Vega, and my son, Andre Bohannon, December 2005. Tyrone Lawson, George Valadez Benitez, Marshall Fields Hall, Javante Alexander, Layla Stewart, Antonio Finner, Gino Angati, Hydea Pendleton, Manuel Hernandez, Sergio Mora, Francis Colon, Oscar Marquez, Andrea. Brandon Byers, Jalen Lusk Slaughter, Marquis Thompson, Clifton Barney, Tori Stewart, Miguel DeLazos, Angel Cano, Latimo Daniels, Fiaro Denard, Vaughn Allison, Patrick Sykes, Isaac Bolanas, Deontay Maxwell, Miguel Velegas, Jesse Clark, April McDaniel, Fernando Mondragon. 107, let's have a moment of silence. <laughs> 